Hi, I'm Candy from CandyCooper.com, and in this video, I'm going to show you a really easy macrame bracelet project that uses fun decorative links. Let's get going. So macrame is pretty close to my heart because it's one of the first kinds of jewelry that I started selling. I started making it, I think, when I was in high school and then selling it and giving it to my friends. So I really love it because it's just a repetitive action. We're just going to put some cords together and just keep knotting them and then all of a sudden you have jewelry. So um, this project, I'm going to show you how to make these bracelets. We're going to do this flat and then I'll show you how to get the twist look. But now I'm using Beetleon's tying station, which is a handy tool. It's got a ruler on the edge. Um, and these wing nut bolts that you can loosen and secure your cords to instead. So if you look at my bracelet, it's got a little link. So I brought some different links. You can find these at the craft store. These are Tierra casts. They're really fun. I went ahead and cut a piece, and this is going to actually be the core of your bracelet. So you really just need this to go around your wrist and then add probably like three or four inches. I added way more than that, but you want to give yourself something to hold on to while you finish the ends. That's the key. So all I did was fold the cord in half and now I'm just threading it through and then pulling the tails through the loop to anchor it to the link. Now you can take this actually off and then stack it up like so. And then just put your nut back in place and tighten it. Okay, and then this part, I'm just gonna anchor the tails of the cord down at the end. Okay, so now that you have it all anchored and together, you're gonna cut two, I always say like arm lengths. So you're gonna hold it like that and then do it again, like so, and then cut. And that's going to give you way more than you need. So I folded over my outer threads and I'm going to tie them to that center cords. Like so. And then now, just to get the flat band, we're going to do a square knot. And so we're going to cross the right tail over the top and then the left side cords go over and then under everything up through that loop. I'm going to try to go really slow. Okay, now we're going to switch side and we're going to have the left cross over the top and then the right side goes over then down and up through this hole right here. I'm just going to pull it right on through. So right tail crosses over, left tail goes over and then under everything and up through that loop. Left side goes over, right side goes under everything and through. And try to slow down. And so you're just going to keep alternating back and forth and back and forth. So that's basically how you get that flat band. Now let's say you want to get this twisted look. Let me pull that bracelet here. All you're going to do is keep repeating the same knot. So instead of like doing right tail, left tail, right tail, left tail. So you're going to just keep doing right side, right side, right side. And it's just going to have a really natural spin to it. Okay, so you see how our spin is starting? Looking good. So I've got one that is ready to finish the ends. This one is a lot like this bracelet. And all I'm going to do is create a loop at the end, and then I'm going to attach a lobster clasp for it to connect to. Really simple. Like this is a great summer camp project or, you know, you've got a few days off from school or it's raining out. This is a great project because you need very little to create it. So what I like to do is take my core threads and I fold them over to figure out like 
how long do I want my loop? And you can, you can use your ruler, you can check it against your um, tying station, but a lot of times I just like put it around my wrist and I say, that looks good. <laughs> and so I'm gonna make my loop, take into consideration where your clasp falls, make sure it's not gonna be too big. If it is gonna be too big, sometimes you can scooch up your knotted section. So I'm gonna fold this over and then I'm gonna knot these two pieces together. And there are lots of ways, like if you research this online or whatever, there's everybody, it's kind of like a meatloaf recipe. I think everybody has their own way of doing it. This is mine. Okay, and what's gonna happen is I'm gonna fold this over and now I'm going to tie the outer cords that we had over the top. I'm just gonna tie them in a knot. Okay, and what's cool about this, by making that initial overhand knot with the core tails, now that thing can't slide open, it's locked in. And I forgot to mention, you can also put a touch of, um, I really like this super glue gel. I'm not using um, any glass beads on here. If you were using glass, don't use super glue because it's gonna frost the surface of your glass. There's some sort of chemical reaction that happens. You would use more like an E6000 or something, but you know, if you're gonna wear this thing um, a lot to put a touch of adhesive on your knots just to make sure they're secure. Then you're gonna trim your tails. Now all you're going to do is open your jump ring, attach a clasp, and then connect it to your link. And now I've got a cute little bracelet that's um, ready to go. Just don't forget to make a wish if it falls off. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Be sure to drop us a line in the comments and let us know what you thought and give us a thumbs up if you liked it. And definitely subscribe to this channel. Until next time.